this is kind of a trick that we do with base green binder. Um, we put it on straight in certain conditions. This is spread a lot by word of mouth and unfortunately people are using it sometimes when they shouldn't be using it. So let me go over it real quick. You can use straight base green, very thick and very short, in conditions that are kind of between clister and hard wax conditions. They can also be conditions that are really hard to get kick in with a lot of multiple and variable conditions. But the main thing is it's generally very good when it's between hard wax and cluster conditions, especially in abrasive snow. I found it to be especially good in snow that's crushed ice mixed with powder or it got cold overnight. So you want to put a whole lot on. The way I describe it, it's like your seven-year-old is putting a lot of wax on. Um, it, it looks like the person who's putting on doesn't know anything about waxing. You do it in a couple layers. The first layer is thick. And you put a whole lot on, like I'm showing you. And you can keep it on a even a clister zone, or the longest you'd ever want to put it on would be for a hard track kick wax zone. Then you heat it in. That's you just heat in the first layer only. Otherwise you'll have so much on it'll start to flow over the sidewalls a little bit. You don't want that. Then you take your cork while it's still wet and smooth it out as best you can. So that's a decent first layer. And from here, I'm going to keep applying successive layers until most of the base looks like this, where you can actually see the color on the black base. Okay, I'm going to, after I've let this cool so it, it isn't all soupy, I'm going to apply more base green in the areas that are the darkest, in other words, with the least amount of base green. It's important to notice, or to note, that this is a slow gliding wax. It may be base green, but the reason we put it on short and thick, and, and a, either a hard track zone or a clister zone, which means short, is because it's actually slow gliding, especially on powder snow. It's very slow. But there's no reason to use this combination of powder snow, or this, this wax and powder snow, because the traditional waxes work extremely well in powder snow. This is only for their, your tricky conditions. So I'm putting another layer here, I'm putting it on short because it's slow, and I want to keep it off the snow. I smooth that out, and then I apply more in the areas that are black. The areas that are green, I'll avoid because they have enough wax on them. And I smooth that out. You might want to know how many layers. It depends on how thick the layers are you're applying. And also, I should say, the drier the snow, the easier it is to get kick. You can use this actually in wet snow if it's got that corn and powder mix, but you have to use a whole lot. So it really is a question of what else is working on that day. Sometimes this is a compromised wax. Sometimes it's fantastic. Put a little more on. This will be my last layer. And although that doesn't look like it's ready to go, for this purpose it is.